What's up, everybody? Welcome back. As you can see, the sun's going down. We're supposed to be sitting in a tree right now. But, uh, we got to the first tree we saddled in, and the feeder is broken. So we decided to come over here, and the wind was just completely wrong, so we said, scratch all of that and just sit in the blind that we made this summer because we actually do have a decent wind for that and, uh, and the pigs have been coming in there so we're going to go sit in there breaking the bone tick and we're also going to bring the thermal guns because The pigs have been showing up right at dark, so I don't know if I'll have enough light with the bow. We're going to try it, so let's go over there. It's a large protuberance. Is it white yet? switched on us so we moved trees and they're actually not set up on anything other than a trail there's two scrapes on the trail so we had to switch for the wind or we we're gonna get blown out either way so it's prime time right now can't really do it with this fingers crossed Good morning, everybody. It is five o'clock in the morning. And uh, today we sat with the self bow. Uh, today, anyway, yesterday, saw two bucks in a little nubbin buck, but uh, nothing, nothing came in. We actually have a, a cold snap this morning. It's 44 degrees. So we got the job boat, jet boat, behind the truck and we are going to hunt some core land so hunter's got his compound i got the self bow um we'll see if anything comes in range for either so y'all stay tuned Put our saddles up and then we wait. We've been grinding out deer season here in Texas. Not really, it's only been uh, two days of hunting. So yesterday evening, this morning, now we're going back this evening to a new spot. The Coraline didn't show you much at the Coraline today because there wasn't much to show. We got busted by three does and uh, the wind, the weatherman hasn't been calling the shots right. So wind's been really swirly. We're going to my buddy Trey's place down on the river this afternoon. Uh, he's got a bunch of does, so we're going to go try to get a doe with the self bow. Um, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully the wind doesn't swirl on us again. And we're going to set. 
saddle. He's got some big hardwood, so we're going to go get a big tree and get on a game trail and see what happens. Hopefully, we can stick us an old freezer queen. I got to make some lunch meat for the boys because they already ran out of all the elk lunch meat that I made last year. So, let's do it. It's day three or four. Self bow hunting. We've been blown at so many times. It's unreal. But we're at the same place we were yesterday. This is all low fence. And we had that Axis doe come in. And she busted us. And then we had four does come in. And the big mama doe blew at us. We had a good wind though. She never picked us. She never saw us. Uh, so I don't know what happened there. But Today we sat in a little further than we did yesterday. We have a good wind again. So we're gonna see what happens. There's a guy running a chainsaw on the property next to us. So we'll see what happens. Well, guys, as you can hear, the neighbor's still weed eating right next to us. We had four does come low at us again. So, we're calling it. We're going to get out of here. We're going 
go do some scouting before the sun goes down on some other pieces. So. moon at boy it's bright out here tonight I don't even know where we left off last, but oh, I got blown out again. I don't remember. Oh, no, no. It was this morning. We didn't get blown out. We didn't see anything. We saw a squirrel on public land. Today, we are not on public land. We're on my family's land, and I've had a big 10-point um, kind of regular at the camera, but the main reason that we're hunting here tonight is because we actually do have a good wind, which is probably why you can't hear me which is probably why you can't hear me very good right now. Uh, but we have a good wind. We went in and trimmed up a tree earlier this afternoon uh, that I had an old tripod in. So it's just laying on the ground, but we're gonna saddle in the tree above it. We trimmed everything out. It looks money. The wind is gonna be right, the wind is gonna be right in our face. And that buck is coming from out in front of us. So he'll be coming in this way. That's the way he's been coming in on camera. So hopefully he does that, but. Uh, we'll see. Oh, I didn't even mention we uh we're taking a little hiatus break on the old self bow. Broke the old bow tech out again uh, to hopefully change our luck up. We're not gonna end this deer season without putting a deer down with that self bow. But had to break the old bow tech back out, change the luck, and uh, yeah, hopefully the big ten comes out. He's beautiful. He's super old. I've been watching him for three years. Um, so let's go get in the tree. It's a hot one. Is that big enough? All right. I'm throw these sticks up. I've got this old gnarly oak tree. Cut out a perfect little lane straight into the feeder, so. You think deer smell dill pickle? Leave in the comments what your favorite stand snack is. This is not my favorite. It's not my choice to eat some of our seats in the stand, but I'm hungry and I got them, so. Y'all drop a comment what's your favorite snack while you're deer hunting. What's your absolute favorite? Y'all drop a comment if you think the cameraman is not allowed to talk behind the camera. Guys, that didn't work out like every other deer hunt this week. Can't see anything because it's lights my dude back up. <laughs> 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 
We're way off the road. <laughs> yeah, I can't see the road's that way. Are we on point five? Yes. So, we're going to grab the thermals. I'm going to see if we can't put a hog on the ground. Then we're going home. Well guys, so far this deer season has been pretty brutal. Here, I'm gonna fling an arrow real quick and then we're gonna go um, sit in the saddles and hopefully he comes in. There has also been some giant awdad coming. Y'all saw the, if you saw the deer skinning video, you saw that giant awdad. He's been coming in. That camera's been weird, so we don't really know how much he's been coming in, but I've seen him again on camera, so that's a possibility too. But gonna dial. Make sure the Bowtech is dialed. Um, I've been hunting with the self bow, so I'm gonna shoot it once at 20, once at 30, and then we're gonna go ahead to the tree. That'll work. stays like it is and uh we can connect with something tonight either the big 10 hopefully or that big all dad that's been showing up Well guys, sorry if it is, if the audio is bad, but as many of you know, my wife is pregnant and I just got a text that uh, she's having contractions, so we didn't see the buck and we didn't see a big all dad, but she's going to get me a trophy tonight, hopefully. She doesn't know the gender, I'm the only one that knew the gender, I had to know, but she didn't want to know until it happens, so we are having a little boy. Uh, obviously, it's not gonna come out until all that happens, so. Pray for us, wish us luck. Hope everything goes smooth, and mama and baby are safe, happy, and healthy. So, that's the plan now. I don't know what is to come in the next week or two. I'll be, uh, 
I'll be on dad mode, so y'all stay tuned. Try to get y'all some uh, squirrel hunting or rabbit hunting content because I can do stuff like that around the house. It's going to be hard for me to get out and deer hunt a lot, but uh, y'all leave in the comments what you'd want to see with me at the house. We can do some pond fishing or rabbit squirrel, stuff like that. So y'all drop a comment. Thank y'all for watching. Sorry we didn't get anything. We've been trying. This is like our 11th or 12th time out. That's armadillo. So, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.